What's up, everybody? I've just been driving, you know, just be driving. And I've just been kind of daydreaming. And I kind of always have these three different daydreams, just, you know, for the longest time. And they're dreams that I never really want to ever pursue. But it's just kind of like in another life somewhere in an alternate universe. One of the daydreams I do have is, you know, whenever you're driving, and on the side of the road, on the sidewalk, or just along the highway, the shoulder, you'll come across some guy just walking with a shirt off. And sometimes it's in the middle of nowhere where you know there's nothing happening for the next 10 miles. So he's gonna be sitting there walking 10 miles with a shirt off just along the highway. Now I'm never gonna be one of those guys that's gonna swing by and pick up a guy on the side of the road or a woman, whatever, uh, because yeah, there's a lot of stories, and that's how a lot of true crime podcasts start out. I used to be a lot nicer when I was younger, but as I got older and older, I realized there's just more bad than good. And that's not having a bad outlook on the world. That's just one of those realizations where it's like, hey, that's the way it is. So like I said, I'm never going to pick any of these people up, but, okay, this lady's getting right up on me again. Let's slow down. She's getting right on me. I'm going to slow down to the actual 30 miles an hour. Let's do that. Okay, she's going to pass me. She's going to pass me here. Okay, now she's not speeding up. Okay, here she is. Here she is. Oh, yeah, of course. Piece of trash. But anyways, I think about these guys walking around, hot summer day, walking shirtless on the side of the road. And I think, okay, did his wife kick him out? Did he lose a shirt and he has no other shirt? Can he afford a shirt? All these questions come into my mind and I'm always at a loss. You know, at some point he's gonna need food. The dude's gonna need to go to the bathroom. He's gonna need to do a lot of things. Where's he gonna stay at? Is he just wandering? Like, but I'll sit there and I'll think about it and I'll be like, you know what, that guy's cool. In a certain way, he is cool. And I wouldn't mind being that guy. <laughs> Like, if I had the choice to be, you know, some guy in a well-dressed suit or the cool guy on the side of the road with his shirt off in a hot summer's day just walking along like, yeah. I think I'd rather choose being the shirtless guy on the side of the road. Now, another daydream I have is, you know, just selling off everything and hopping a train and heading west. I think about that a lot. But I think it would be cooler if I had, like, a, a group with me, like a posse I had, you know, four or five other guys, and we all just hop on the train and just head west. We're like, we're all in it together. You know, it's like an old cowboy kind of thing. You know, we've all had good times, bad times, and you just hop on this train, right? And we just head all the way to Los Angeles, or maybe before then. Sometimes I think about, you know, the classic movies where it's a long stretch of desert road, and there's maybe that gas station on the side, and, uh, you know, you're a city slicker, you pull in, and the guy that's just sitting outside of the gas station in the rocking chair and he goes, yeah, looks like you ain't from these parts. <laughs> A gallon's gonna cost you an extra dollar. <laughs> so we all hop the train, maybe stop in Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, you know, just one of those desert kind of states. I wouldn't mind uh, living out there. That'd be actually pretty cool. And in hindsight, just mentioning, you know, going all the way to California and L.A., would I really want to live in L.A.? Probably not. When I was a kid, I used to dream about going to uh, Hollywood and, you know, doing all that. Being either the movie star or the rock star or whatever. But now as an adult and uh, really seeing, you know, how it actually is, how the world actually is, instead of just like stuff you see on TV and being kind of like brainwashed that way it's like nah I think I'm much better off uh not going down that route but in a perfect world I would think me and the five guys we hop the train you know go all the way west we have our jugs of water cheese deer sausage and crackers candy bags of chips whatever we take with us to keep us going throughout the trip. 
And who knows, maybe the train that we hop on initially just stops in Kansas. We'll have to get off at Kansas, maybe camp out in the middle of the woods for a little bit, build a fire, you know, maybe hunt for some game that's in the area, some rabbits, whatever we need to just keep living. And then just wait till the next train that is heading west. We uh, just hop that and keep going, you know. So I guess with these two daydreams, what I'm daydreaming about is just adventure and uh, just going into the beyond and the mysteriousness of uh, what could happen, you know, so many different routes. But I think that's what a lot of people do daydream about is just, you know, breaking away from the monotony of whatever life they have and just traveling out into the beyond, the mystery of uh, whatever they can get themselves into. And so my final daydream is uh, I really wouldn't want to be this guy, but I will see this quite often. And it's always the dude that is having his girlfriend drive him around everywhere. Now, did this guy get his license revoked? Does he not have a car? Does he not have a job? He's a grown man, but yet his uh, girl is driving him around, which I've, I've seen that a lot more than I could even imagine it even happening is the woman is taking care of the man instead of the other way around and it's always in the most sad way possible it's always like she's just working three jobs and the guy's just like sitting on the couch but when I usually see this it always takes place at a gas station it's always the woman driving up in her just beat up sedan and she gets out and the guy's just sitting there and there's usually rap music playing. I just wish once it would be like metal music, just some heavy, you know, stuff, but it's always rap music. And the guy's always just kind of sitting there all slumped back in the seat and he has his hat on and, and she's going in and getting all the snacks and, you know, cheap little cigars and whatever for the dude and she's getting lottery tickets and everything else. So this is so commonplace that it's not even funny, but uh, it, it happens a lot, but sometimes I'll sit there and I'll think man, you know What kind of life would that be if I didn't have to do anything? <laughs> I just had some woman taking care of me, but me as who I am would I ever let that slide? No, I always have the idea that if I can't take care of myself I can't get involved with anything else. I got to take care of myself first and then possibly uh, take care of someone else and I could never let myself be in that kind of situation or relationship because it's just like it's disrespectful for the person you're with and to yourself because let's just face it if she's taking care of you and she loves you and all of that that means she really doesn't think too highly of herself like she'll think that you're the best that she could get and she can't get a guy that could actually be good to her. I could just never be that guy. But on the surface level, I do think sometimes, man, wouldn't it be nice <laughs> if I had a woman drive me around and take me places? It'd be sweet. It'd be very nice for just once. But anyways, those are my daydreams. Um, yeah, I think about it from time to time, adventuring or just being a leech. <laughs> So if people ask me what my dreams are, I want to be a leech, you know? I want to be that loser guy that's in the passenger seat of the woman driving at the gas station and picking me up some snacks. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later.